If you're a Canon shooter and you have a Canon DSLR, you've probably got hold of a copy of Canon's DPP, which is their Digital Photo Professional Raw Editing Software. And it's a good program, it's fairly basic, but it's got a couple of good points about it. And one of them is that you can save non-destructive copies of any adjustments you make to an image. For example, if you if I was to make some adjustments to this photo and then save the photo, when I come out of DPP, if I was to just say yes, save all the files, the raw file would be saved with any adjustments I've made. Whereas if I come out and click no to saving it, then I may not remember the adjustments I made if I want to throw out some more JPEGs in a year or so. So one way around that is, I'm going to show you quickly now, if I make some very basic adjustments to this in image, some bit of sharpness, uh, just very basic stuff just to show you what I'm talking about, a bit of sharpness, some obvious colour saturation. I've now made some changes to that photo and if I wanted to throw out a JPEG and then come back in a year's time and recreate that, if I haven't saved the recipe or I haven't saved the raw as it is now, then I won't necessarily rem remember what I did. But what you can do with DPP is go to Edit, Save Recipe in File, and then just click Save, and it will save it next to the original photo. So if we now go in and have a look at that, you can see here we've got the original RAW file, which is 12.8 megabytes, and then we've got the VRD file, which is a mere 1.78 kilobytes. Now that is nothing, really. It just takes up no space whatsoever. But what it means is, when I come out of DPP and I elect not to save the adjustments that I've made to that image, they will always be there within that VRD file. So if I want to open up DPP again in a year's time, open the raw file, and then rather than try and remember what I what processes I made, I can then simply go to Edit, Read and Paste Recipe from File, click on VRD, and it will make all those adjustments instantaneously for me. So it's a fantastic little way of saving your, your workings without having to save an extra file. And it also means that I can apply that VRD file to any of my other images. So if I've got a batch of images that are similar to this, I can do a quick batch process and apply that VRD file to every single image within milliseconds. So it's a very, very good way of doing things. Now, if I was to do the same thing in Lightroom, there's a very similar kind of way of doing things. So here you can see I've got that photo loaded in Lightroom and I'm in the develop mode and if I was to make all those adjustments within Lightroom I can actually copy the settings and then apply them to other images but the nice thing about Lightroom is it's non-destructive so if I was to now close Lightroom after making any adjustments and then reopen it in six months time those adjustments would still be there and I can revert and I can do anything with the photo and still have those settings remained. I can't save a hard copy of the settings I've made. I'm pretty sure I can't do that within Lightroom and actually save a file like the VRD file in DPP. But again, it's non-destructive. So anything I do in Lightroom, I can throw out a JPEG, come out of Lightroom, the raw file is still untouched, but I can go back into Lightroom at a later stage and those adjustments will still be there. It saves a a file within your cache, I think it is, within Lightroom in your program files. So it does kind of save a, 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 a cached file, but it's not as easy to get to as it is with Photoshop. Um, but if you want to apply those settings, like I said, you can copy them and then paste them to any other images you've got within Lightroom. So it's very similar, but not quite as intuitive as DPP, where you save a hard copy VRD file right next to the original RAW. So I just thought I'd let you know, if you didn't know about that, it's very handy to use if you do shoot and process with DPP. So just remember to do that next time. If you've done a, a batch of images all the same, save a, D, a VRD file and just apply it to all the images and you know you've always got that copy available.